Well, hello there, you sweet, sweet toe beans. It's your boy, them curvy toes. We're back today playing a new game for the channel, Portal Dungeon. Guys, I have no idea how I haven't heard of this game before. This is like right up my alley. It's a uh, item synergy platforming roguelike. I can't speak enough positivity about this game. I just seriously, I'd never heard of it until it just uh, dropped the 1.0 release. You have all these different characters you can play as, and then you have skins and things you can unlock, all kinds of different meta progression. We're actually going to be playing as the engineer today. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good about the, uh, the engineer because, you know, why not? Oh, we have uh, some leveling here. Uh, so we're going to play as him. These are his abilities and uh, you have your I don't even remember what that is. You got your test dummy. You got your. You can switch switch your character. Oh, we can get a. Uh, we can get a pet. We can't get a pet. We don't have any pets unlocked. Look at all this stuff to unlock. It's insane. You have your meta progression here. I've maxed out gold and started specking into move speed because those seem to be sorely missed. Uh, and so you have your paths that you can go here. So we're just gonna go to the normal one here and uh, and throughout your various uh, levels. You have chests and items you can buy. We're just gonna pop this. We're gonna get our turrets out. I wanna I wanna start getting damage off on these clowns as early as possible. And every enemy you get, you can actually see up in the top left there, you get gold for defeating them. And gold is what you use to buy all your various items. Still, these, uh, these purple coins you can spend in shops in run to essentially upgrade your active item whatever that happens to be for our character we actually have an in in i was gonna say inbred that doesn't sound right we have an inherent one there we go uh which is a mech suit which i will use at some point here it has a massive cooldown but and then you can see in the top right there uh there's a uh timer on the level and after so many seconds the shadow assassin will attack and the shadow assassin does uh metric butt tons of damage i believe is uh how that's clarified classified and quantified first couple levels i like to take my time really kind of start farming up the gold so we have plenty of doubloons available to us when the chests start coming and they don't stop coming we're shooting lots of guns hey here's our first chest and it's gonna give us an item all right, we're gonna toss you down and toss you down. Fire water orbs at enemies every one second when casting skills. I mean, you know, not uh, not terrible, not great, but uh, I'll take it. So we got a chest up there, as uh, you may have seen. Those spiders can web you, and then you get stuck, and you have to fuck around. Oh my god, they hit our turret. I always try and have two turrets out, but, or two, like, drones, not, oh, hello? Ah, yes, these mushrooms bounce as well, it's probably a good time to say that. I'm gonna throw some grenades down there, and that'll eventually blow them up. And we got another chest up here, so we're gonna hit this and get something spicy. When attacking, there's a 10% chance to throw a battle blade. That's just gonna be our normal left mouse button gun attack. I feel like there's got to be something up here. Ah, you know, with procedural generation, who knows? Oh, the actual portal. Oh, shit. Hello. And this uh, can be used to draw items from the vending machines in the stores. The guaranteed good item every 10 draws. I'm not sure what a guaranteed good item means. Because I really like some of the common rarity items in this game. The additional attack speed and whatnot. Great. 25% chance of summoning an ice blade when casting a skill. The ice blade will fall behind the character and automatically stab forward and the enemy approaches. When hitting a target, there's a 10% chance to cause bleeding on the target, resulting in 100% base damage per second. I'm gonna take the nail. I mean, we are a rapid attacking character, so that seems like a very, very good item for us to have. And now we're just gonna wait till the shadow assassin shows up. And just kind of farm up our uh, farm up our gold until then. Get out of here. So we want attack speed up, and then we're gonna start getting all kinds of benefits from the bleed. We're going bleed today, beans. 
I'm not sure if turrets and drones can pro uh, can proc that. You know what? We're not even gonna wait for the Shadow Assassin. Fuck this. We got almost a thousand gold on level one. Let's see, so we do have an elite. Survive for two minutes and do not cast skills. That's not a good one for us to have. Skills are our bread and butter. Protect crystal, don't activate treasure chests. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll go this way and then we'll try and get the protect the crystal. I have yet to do one of those successfully, but that doesn't mean it's not very easily doable. Get our, uh, get our little drone out here. Reduces all damage taken by five points. That's a, just a solid all-around item. Another one. And you can see we got the bleed DOT on him. That's us getting hit by the spooter. Spooters are, spooters are dicks. All right, let's throw some grenades here. Got another treasure chest down here. And there is just a gangbang of those enemies. Just an Alexa Texas gangbang. Old heads know. Ah, uh, what a hitting. All right, listen, you clowns. When hitting the target, there's a 10% chance to install a bomb on the target. The bar okay. Uh, we got we got sticky grenades now. Oh my god. We definitely could use some some healing abilities. Uh, that is for sure. We are uh, we are a very squishy character to begin with, and uh, the fact that we have no way to heal actively is not ideal. But there's plenty of items that'll allow us to do that. Oh, there's the sticky bombs, Brock, and that's what I like to see. All right, we got these mush mushy boys. Oh my god, look at those sticky bombs. The attack speed up is gonna be paramount for us. Raise an ice cube at the nearest enemy every two seconds. Causing 50%, okay, well. I mean, shit, free, uh, free extra attack is good in my book. I haven't even used our E attack, which is a proximity mine. And there you can see that going there. When hitting the target, there's a 20% chance to pull the target in front of you and cause 200% base damage. All right. That's probably not good for this character because of the aforementioned squishiness. Okay. And just descending like, a, like the Batman on that slime. Ooh, what is this? Double damage, double pain. I heard double damage, I'm in. Is this a terrible idea? Yes. Do I care? Not right now, and that's what I'm concerned about. Well, that's the jumping butt. Uh, attack speed decreases, we don't want that. When you go for... All right, so that's some extra health and healing is what that looks like to me. We go for five seconds without taking any damage. All right, so we... We are going to have some shield now, which is, you know, your secondary health, more or less. Oh, and it applies to our summons as well. That guy didn't even come out of the ground. Uh, curse chest, increase enemy levels. The higher the curse, the higher the damage. Yes. Uh... Alright, hang on. We're going <laughs> to... We're going to toss you down. One attack, chance to block. To trigger the current equipment effect from receiving damage. HP regeneration is good. Uh, movement speed. That's a vampirism. Damage reduction is good. Oh, that's we can only buy one item from him, I guess. Let's see if we can farm up some uh, some more doubloons here. I mean, we got 1.6k, so I'm not. All right, well, fuck okay. it. Did I hit record? I don't remember. All right, so we are going to go protect the crystal and don't activate the treasure chests, and then we'll get some some extra goodies. And so.
I will 100% tank the hit for the, the thing if I need to. No, leave the crystal alone. All right, we're protecting the shit out of the crystal right now. It's doing good. It's doing so good. You're just like, egad. All right, we are a little over halfway there. We're getting a ton of money from this as well, which is awesome. Oh, okay, well. I am intentionally taking damage so we can get the extra loot. I promise that this is, there's a method to my madness. No, I thought I got it. Also trying not to die. Oh, well, it looks like we got it. We got a bunch of purple coins that I don't know what they do. Crit chance increased by 8%. Sounds tight. And what do we got over here? Ooh, more. More bleed. So when things start bleeding, it gets weird is what... Uh, ooh, the, so the red ones are like more health, but more... Gold? And XP, I think? I'm not sure. I'm actually still, you know, just to just to clarify for y'all, I'm still very new to this game. I have no idea what's going on. What is this? When hitting a target, there is a 5% chance to stun the target for one second. Or, no, more, more bleed damage. We're, we're leaning into it. When things start bleeding, it's gonna get weird. And a proximity mine for good measure. Oh, he got us with the Webby. With the Chris Webby. We're kicking ass right now, Beans. I'm feeling... I'm feeling good about whatever we got going on yonder. Oh my god, that proximity mine was disgusting. And we are... Alright, we're gonna hit this chest... We did complete it, right? I have no idea what we just picked up. We're gonna have to take a look at it in a second here. All right, that's the uwu ears. When jumping, a shockwave will be generated to collide with the enemy or... Yeah, we'll go with that. Oh shit, what is this? There's an electric magnetic blast. I have not seen that before. That is uh, an auto attacking item that deals a shit ton of damage, it looks like. Right, nothing fancy up here. But some currency. I still haven't even used our alt. Probably should have done that when we were protecting the, the thing. Oh, that. I was like, what the fuck is that green orb? That is our item. We. Oh my god! Oh, that... That was almost a death right there, Beans. I hope you know that. Is this... I believe that's gonna be a gravity death, yup. Well, not death. Luckily, it's not uh, one hit or quitter, and this is probably gonna be two. Yup. That's fine. We're... We're okay. We have... We have health, we're just gonna not take damage for a couple of bits and baubles here. Oh shit, we probably got a Shadow Assassin somewhat close to a uh, spawning. Ooh, more Sticky Bomb. Or, there's a Phantom Sword when casting a skill. Alright. Stickier bombs, and this is going to be our fancy item. 15% chance to trigger rage when taking damage. Attack power and attack speed will be increased by 60%. Five seconds. Oh shit, there's the shadow assassin. Oh my god, that scared the shit out of me. He does a ton of damage. Let's grab this guy, shall we? 
I mean, we also take double damage at this point, so, you know. And then we're gonna summon our next guy here. Stun gun, chain lightning bursts out when you use equipment. Our equipment is such a high cooldown that that doesn't particularly matter. Is that movement speed? Hell yeah. I do love me some movement speed in this game. We are fast as fuck, boy. I am loving this engineer character so far. I haven't unlocked, as you saw, many of them at all. But, from the uh, the ones I have unlocked, this is my favorite thus far, by a large margin. But, I love summon builds, so this is, of course, right up my alley. Shooting lots of shrooms. Oh, hello? I bet there's a, uh, nope. I was gonna say, I bet there's a chest up here. There's a chest up here, though. What do you got for me? Attack speed decreases by 10%, and skill damage increase. Uh, you know what? The skill damage increase is huge. Oh my god, yep. We got bamboozled there, Beans. When attacking, there's a 20% chance to. Trigger sword energy. All right. I'm assuming this is going to be another gravity well of sadness. As is that, and the portal's probably going to be up here. Is what that's looking like to ya, boy. <laughs> We're just going to pretend that didn't happen, okay? Lots of shroomy boys. What do you got? What do you got, Mushroom? Nothing. We got death. We are the death. Alright, and now, to fight the first boss. I genuinely don't know if I've beaten the first boss yet. Oh my god. Uh, well, if we were going to, this was probably the character to do it with. I must have beat him because I feel like we would have gotten an achievement. Yeah, I do remember. We there is a 40% chance that recovery will heal 3% plus 1.5 each right. skill. Increase the number of four skill uses. Oh, we get two turrets now. Oh, wait. Can we have more than two out? No. That is unfortunate, but to be expected. All right. Watch out for- Oh yeah, so these fly- I- I- Okay, I have been- I have beat the, uh, the first boss before. Cause I remember the flies kicking the shit out of me. It's all coming back to me now. Two green items. The character does not move for more than- Oh my god, Terraria Worms! Of increased items dropping when opening treasure chests? Sold! We do open a lot of treasure chests. All right, we got like, I don't know what those would be considered. Ember soul critters. All right, we're just gonna. Uh, gives a 10% plus 5% chance each to trigger the current equipment effect when receiving damage or recovers health when killing enemies. There's our, there's our passive healing. Something about healing. All right, we're doing, we're doing good. We got a, we got a spicy build going. This is definitely the, the best build I've had in this game thus far. Again, still relatively new to it. Reduces all damage taken. Oh my God. Where the fuck did that come from? All right, we're, we're casting this. Crits have a 20% chance to summon a tornado around the enemy, causing 30% base damage every sold. I like crits, and I cannot lie. Teleports a short distance and generates lightning in the area, dealing 1,500% base damage. One. So that gives us an additional grenade, which I quite frankly forget to use constantly. But if we can toss four grenades out at a time, like boom, 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 
Look at that. Oh, okay. That was worth it. That was worth it. All right, we are in a weird position here with whatever the hell that is. Increases shield value by 100%? What is this? We are an untouchable... I should, every time I say something like that, I pretty much immediately die. So we are a very touchable, but it somewhat slightly broken at the moment. Oh! Spikes everywhere. I hate the spikes. I hate the spikes. Not a fan. Automatically... Okay, so automatic recovery when we go a while without taking damage. That's good. Dead. Water gun, exchange vouchers. Take an exchange voucher. And we're gonna try and actually farm up some balloons here, maybe? Nope, there's no enemies spawning. Increased damage taken by 15%. Oof. Oof. That's all right. What do we got here? I guess we'll just... We... Yeah, we can't take damage when we're doing this. It actually looks like we can <laughs> continue to get gold, though, so... We can just take our time. I want to hit as many elites. Protect the crystal. Don't activate treasure chests. So we're going to go to just... Reduce visibility by five. All right. Well. Okay, so there's like a vignette on the screen. I should probably get my uh, handy dandy murder bots going. All right, we are farmers. Bum 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 bum. Increase crit damage by ten percent when the character's in the air. That goes nicely with our. Tornadoes, maybe? I don't know. Uh, when defeating a target, there's a 15% chance for reducing cooldown on a skill by one. Most of our skills are pretty low cooldown to begin with. We're actually going to go with additional movement speed. Another nail. Oh, God. When things start bleeding, they, uh, they got, they got big bleed going on. Alright, so that guy can duck underneath our proximity mine, which is not ideal. Another curse chest for a good item? Eat three of your own items at random to increase base damage by 20 points. Honestly, we could have had a lot worse things than that happen. I don't know what just happened there. Ah! Where are we at here? I think we no longer have a sticky bomb though, unfortunately. Unless I grabbed a second sticky bomb at some point. Ten percent chance. We're gonna go with more shields. We want we want the survivability. We do have a fair bit of money, which is awesome. Wow, it's just a very long, sad hallway at this point. Holy shit. Uh, when defeating a target, there's a 35% chance to make the target and nearby enemies explode, result- Oh my god, yes. Explode for me! Look at all the healing we got going on, that's wild. Alright, well. Elite. So what we want to do... Is get this. And this. And this. And this. We might not be able to save the crystal here. 
Oh my god. Well, I'll settle for us remaining alive. Yeah, we, we failed miserably. So we're not gonna get the, uh, the bonus, unfortunately, but... Alright, we are just kind of letting y'all do your thing. You can attack a dead crystal if you want. That's fine by me, Phantom Sword. Ice Blade, Poisonous Mushroom. Alright, we are struggling. I want to buy these items, but the game just refuses. How's our health? How's our health? Not good. Not good. At all. We're gonna start regenerating some, some HP and some shields here, I feel like. Fuck it. We're grabbing the Ice Blade. I vaguely remember that being a good item, so... Oh, he's fucking. Yeah, there we go. This is terrifying. This is like the first time that I've been like, yo, we gotta, we gotta chill out here. Is that an attack speed up? More attack speed, perfect. More attack speed is more debuffs and bleeds and whatnot. Even more attack speed. I didn't even look at what the other ones were, because I just don't care. Oh! All right, we gotta. I feel like I gotta fuck around with this sound a little bit here. I feel like these are too high for the amount of chaos going on. Don't know what I just bought. Frankly, don't even care. We want that. I know the skill cooldown being reduced is probably a much better idea, but I wanted the sticky bombs because we had the sticky bombs and they were real fun. All right, this is this is getting out of control, like to the extreme. Hey, we do have a chest though. Chance to stun, big, huge even. All right, listen. Um terrified right now. We're gonna buy that. We still have plenty of money too, which is tight. Do I really want to take another cursed chest? The answer to that question is always yes. Even more shield. Let's go. Give me to the fucking portal, please. Alright. Now we're gonna farm up a little bit more gold, because this is where shit gets real weird. I mean, shit has already been weird. And we like... We have... S nope. We're getting out of here. Uh, honestly, we're just gonna go with this one. Because that was a lot. That was a lot for you, boy. We're doing a lot of damage, but we're taking a lot of damage. We are farmers. Bum ba dum bum 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 bum. All right, we're gonna see what this guy has on offer. Uh, we're gonna pop that down. What do you got here for me? Number of jumps by one. Uh. We're gonna take an additional jump. I think that's that's a good investment of our our skill point coins or whatever they are. The blue ones! Blue ones you can buy things from a ninja mid-run, it looks like. And I believe you can actually spend them pre-run as well in town. For what that's worth. Okay, we yeah, we're not doing uh, not doing too bad here at all, I must say. Got a little dicey there for a moment. 
That uh, that elite level was nothing to uh, shake a stick at. The damage mounts quick in this game is something that I've uh, definitely noticed, so... Sure, another phantom sword, why not? And another nail, very nice. I'm gonna take that. And a wand of wisdom. Ooh, this guy looks like he's worth a lot of money. You know what? We're gonna hang out over here again. I'm all about farming up some, uh, farming up the doubloons whenever possible. And the boss. I definitely have not beat this boss. We're gonna wait. <laughs> We're gonna wait for those to chill out. Eye of the Abyss. All right. That's what I mean by the uh, the damage stacking up so quickly. Oh shit, we killed a boss. Uh, I had like no health left. Crits have a chance to do things. All right, we're gonna we're gonna be smart here. I should have used the should have used the what call it. Is there? I feel like that's just an abyss built beneath us. Well, that would make sense, because he is the Eye of the Abyss. We're going to heal up. We're going to let our, our shield and our health recharge. I'm going to take a sip of coffee. This is already going so much better than I had uh, hoped this episode would be. This is the best, uh, best run I've had thus far. Again, haven't played too terribly much of it. All right, that's enough. <laughs> I got bored. Kill 15 elites and don't activate treasure chests. That's... We want that for sure. Killing 15 elites ain't nothing. Well, maybe it is. I don't know. I haven't actually played in this area. Am I going to take damage under here? No, I'm just going to move slow, it looks like. Oh, and then we got boyos up above. Oh, look, the water even moves. Sure, more ice blade. We're gonna get those. Oh, do we have another item over here? Oh no, that's like a healing totem, okay. This is very reminiscent of the uh, the engineer class from makes you vulnerable after three seconds. Attack speed is Okay. Very reminiscent of the engineer class from Risk of Rain. That was definitely going to be their inspiration. I would think. But that's my uh, my favorite. Uh, debatably my favorite class in Risk of Rain 2. Either him or the uh, the sniper that was added. The ranger, whatever the, the proper name is. But that was added. When attacking, there's a 20% chance... We haven't even hit a shop yet, so that's a little a little weird to me. But when using jump, there is a you know you can do a fart cloud basically. Fuck you guys. You got nothing on me. Absolutely nothing. Hey, we leveled up too. What a value. Bouncing on shroomy boys. Alright, what do you got? Magic Book of Storms, Bulletproof Vest, probably not a bad idea. Magic Key. We're gonna take 
bullet vest. I want even, <laughs> even less damage done to us. This is like the maggot biome, I guess. Tossing a bunch of grenades out there just to err on the side of caution. I don't know what's shooting at us from above, but I don't like it. I wish it would not. And now we're just gonna chill out here. We got the Shadow Assassin appearing in 130 seconds, so we should be able to farm up a bit more money, hopefully. He's... I... The hell's that? Means I hope y'all are having a great day. I know I sure am. This uh, this episode is a banger so far, and I'm loving it. Ba -da -ba -ba -ba. We're going to this elite. We got to kill 15 elites, and not buy any treasure chests, right? We're just gonna chill out here, wait for the elites to come to us, I think. Right? That would make sense. There's one. I see you. No? Ooh, something hit us hard there. Oh, we've already got 7 out of 15 elites taken care of. I don't know if that counts as a treasure chest, so I'm just gonna pretend that it does and err on the side of caution so we can get some some extra nonsense. What? Take more than a hundred damage in a single hit? Not sure how that's an achievement. Oh, it looks like somebody throws down... Okay. Somebody throws down like bear traps, it looks like. Alright, we need one more elite dead, and then we can buy all this shit, and that should be it. There we go. So for now... Following each use hall, items will be randomly changed. And no, I don't want that. Shield generator. Battle blade! I feel like we're moving very slowly. Is this, uh, yeah, crit chance gonna be big? We are healing so much. It's uncanny. I would say. Look at all those grenades. What? Maybe we'll have the ability to farm up enough money for a 4.18 thousand chest. Although I doubt it. Honestly, it's probably not even worth it to wait around at this point, so we're just gonna... Okay. Ice Blade. Very cool. Crit chance increase. I, uh, I want to hit as many crits as possible. Alright, we have overstayed our money welcome when hitting a target. Chance for knockback. What is this? When using equipment fires a carrot bazooka that deals... You had me at bazooka. Alright, what do we got here? We're just gonna go... We're gonna try and farm up some money. I keep saying I'm gonna do it and then I get like bored or something. So we're just... we're gonna do that. Okay, so it's just like raining purple shit from the sky, is what that looks like to me. See, alright, we're already back up to one. Alright, we're gonna stand by you and hopefully heal. The fuck just hit me? Alright, so this is, I believe, an exploit. 
where you can't get damaged when you're doing this. And so we're not going to be moving and not taking damage. And we're going to start healing. I thought rather quickly. All right. Well, eventually we'll get where we need to go. We're going to go here, hit the unknown. Unknown might be a shop at this point. I have never... Well, I've never gotten this far, period. But I've never gone this far without getting to a shop. What the fuck? What was that noise? It's probably this guy. This looks like a mini boss if I've ever seen one. Oh my god, yeah. He has so much health. Ooh, more crit chance! We are getting clowned on at the moment by this guy. This guy is a fucking tank, apparently. Oh, we got rid of our, uh... We got rid of our... Oh, that depresses me. I don't know what that is, but it's a looks like a legendary item, so we're gonna take it. Whatever this thing is, better drop us so much shit. This is a madhouse of chaos at the moment. I have no idea. <laughs> no idea what just happened. Oh, Beans, thank you so much for coming and hanging out with me today. That was a fun one. That was a fun run on a new game for the channel. Oh, Beans, if you've made it to this point in the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could drop a like and a comment on today's video, letting you know, letting me know what you thought of today's episode in this game in general, as well as a sub on the channel if you haven't done so yet. It's free, only takes a second. You can change your mind whenever you want. I love you being so very, very much, and I'll see you in the next one. You stay sexy out there.